It's a beautiful morning here at the Val de Vie estate just outside of Pal, and I'm here for our final insert of season two to catch up with Olympic gold medalist Rake Neertling. But why Rake on a polo field with a polo mallet? Well, Rake is one of the owners of Val de Vie, and he, along with me, are going to be jumping on some horses as I get my very first polo lesson. So there are many occasions when I'm walking on a beach in Cape Town when people stop me and say, Rake, and I have to say, no, it's not Rake, it's actually Dan. But here is Rake himself. Must happen to you all the time, people thinking you're Dan. I'm that funny, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for having us here, because this is Rake Neertling's home. How, how do you come to be at Val de Vie? Yeah, I've been here, I've been living here now for a little bit more than five years. And um, when, I, when I came here the very first time, I just fell in love with this place. You know, we're surrounded by mountains, wine farms, polo fields, golf courses. I mean, what's there not to love? Awesome weather. This is absolutely beautiful. The polo facilities are world class. Valdeby really has become the, the home of polo in the Western Cape. Yeah, when we started this, there was, you know, there was no culture of polo in the Western Cape. Uh, so we had to really educate the people around here. And uh, we were very uh, excited to have Terry here. He played at the end of November which really put us on the international stage. He fell off twice and, and he got us on all the covers pretty much all over the world. And I'm also happy they didn't get hurt. It's, you know, for us it's very exciting and I think we're in a good spot at the moment. Uh, you also had the Laureus polo here yeah? and that was a day of a rather special occasion for you. It was extra special. I mean, I've been thinking about the Laureus polo cup to have it here. We were in discussions with Laureus for uh, almost three years. Uh, so to finally pull it off was very special and to be, to be named one of the ambassadors as well, uh, you know, glorious is an incredible honor for me. It means that you've achieved more than just the hardware that you've won or the records that you've broken. You've done something a little more than just compete, but uh, you can also add value for this great organization and the awesome work that they do. So, uh, uh, you know, still have a bit of a buzz about that. So one of the main reasons I agreed to do this with Rake was because he told me there was this hot blonde who gave polo lessons at Val I have to be honest, I wasn't quite expecting Kevin. Uh, but thank you nonetheless for being with us uh, today. Give us a, a little a bit of background to, to your polo career. Well, what an introduction. Um, I started when I was a young, tender age of nine years old. Um, very much because of my father. We all played as a family, um, three brothers my dad, so introduced from a very young age. Um, and yeah, 35 years later, still enjoying it. Take the stick, twist your hand around. And what I'd normally like to try and do is put the stick on the ground, let it go, now grab it again. That's the comfortable position of your hand to be. Just let the back swing go back. And that lovely straight arm, keep your eye on the ball. You come down, you strike it. Follow through is important, like in golf. And you soften that just gently. What a shot. That really was, you hit that right in the center. Keep your eye on the ball. Really, really good. You've never hit a polo ball before. Those are the three you've hit, and you've hit them all perfectly. You're going to come with a back swing, and you're going to hit through. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Let's <laughs> 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 go on the top bit. Okay, it's going nicely. This is my very first attempt. Here we go. <laughs> oh, see, even Champion likes that one. Oh. <laughs> so I've had a bit of a knock, and I have to say this is enormously good fun. Uh, and although it's not easy, it's not quite as difficult as I might have been anticipating. Uh, but we've been doing it fairly gently, so time to get a little competitive. Uh, Rake, challenge to see who can score a goal at the other side first? Yeah, that's a good challenge. It's, uh... Just under 400 meters to the other side. So, uh, here we go. All right, I think we should be done in about 25 minutes. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Come on, champion. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
there we go. Uh, Rake, much like a Liverpool striker, misses from right in front of goals. And together, the champion, we uh, were a little slower out the blocks, but we came through for a famous victory. And uh, I have to tell you what, Rake, I think I might be looking for an application to join the Felder V Polo Club. You're always welcome. Yeah. <laughs>